If most of you receive these as a gift, you might be insulted, but in the music world, it's a beautiful gift that were received just over five years ago in the supergroup, The Dead Daisies, and they're breathing new life into the rock and roll industry. Short of, short of a video of me getting a shower or going to the bathroom, <laughs> we are an open book. Each member of the band, the Dead Daisies, has a respectable rock resume, from stints with Motley Crue to Whitesnake. They've spent time on the road and rock charts individually over the last three decades before joining musical forces. We do work hard. Everybody in the band's got a really kind of quirky, funny personality. So we're all always kind of goofing off and playing jokes and pranks. The group has fans from all over the world, and they do something that is not so common with a music group of their stature. They hold events called Daisyland, where they play free acoustic sets with their fans before their concerts. The sound is great, the band is kicking, have a great time. But at the end of the day, we're, we've all been doing this really long, and you know what the state of the music industry is like now. It's not, it's not what it was 20 or 25 years ago or 30 years ago when we all got into it. So we're just kind of, again, without sounding hokey, we're just kind of happy to still be invited to the parties. Definitely, but it is fun. You know, it could, could, not, could be hot tar roofing, you know, right now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Veterans of the music industry, they are well aware of some of the negative changes the industry has seen, but some changes have taken them back to the beginning. The old school bands like uh, Elvis in the beginning, like Beatles, Aerosmith, they would do a record and they would just go out and tour, shake hands, and it was just tour, 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 and then the audiences just grew. So it has gone a bit old school, which I like, because I'm an old guy. I was a waiter at the Last Supper. <laughs> I'm just saying. The Dead Daisies are in full bloom. They just released their highly anticipated album, Burn It Down, and are heading to Europe for a series of sold-out shows. Lindsay Dunn, City News, Toronto.